Hi guys, just a quick uh, blog today on um, um, more so the emotions and the management of stress, which of course leads to wellness. So whereby most people, so many would come to see me for you know, weight management, was usually a lot of weight, uh, or run really fast, so athletic uh, pursuits. Uh, in this case, in this blog, so briefly, I just want to really quickly go through um, um, you know, why your food choices are you know, so important when it comes to managing and balancing, particularly your temperament, you know, over your waking day. Um, you know, I train, um, I guess by and large, predominantly A-type people that work um, pretty solidly um, um, under extreme pressure, um, intermittent pressure, and uh, as a consequence, I've seen that um, particularly that has the, the uh, that can lead to you know poor food choices. Uh, when we're stressed, we tend to gravitate often to towards you know sugary pickup sort of hits. Uh, uh, often sort of associated also with a caffeine hit as well, uh, looking for that sort of, you know, that kick to get us particularly mentally and emotionally up. Now, we know, and it's fact that that sort of can really take down our health over a, a whole, you know, swag of areas. Um, and uh, so where I tend to have people commit to is more, um, you know, real hearty, meaty, earthy sort of food. Certainly start your day with earthy sort of, your chunky, real sort of foods the um, the way it was intended, um, and, and and this leaves your your satisfaction of hunger. You know, uh, satisfaction lasts a long period of time, and if you're achieving that, you won't get those plummets and um, you know those temperamental sort of you know um, spikes, um, um, particularly when you're under pressure. Um, so so um, in my um, in my uh, um, a, a website there, guys, is all my options that I'm recommending. I'm after, as I said, big chunky sort of earthy, you know, protein and, and not being scared of fat um, that leaves us sort of up for a long period of times, um, particularly around 11 o'clock and a three o'clock where, you know, classically people are dipping and it's at that point of dip when blood sugars plummet that you leave yourself most vulnerable um, um, in terms of, you know, stress and, and temperament. Uh, and as a consequence, leave yourself open to making you know, poor decisions. Um, so it's at that point we don't want that big dip and, and having your brain and emotion trying to search for cravings, but usually, as I said, for, for, for sugars. So it's got to be um, earthy. Um, you don't have to eat great volume of food, um, but you certainly need to be consuming um, you know, um, um, really reasonably dense sort of calorie foods. Energy is released over a long period of time. Um, I'm not big on um, you know uh, grazing all day long. You know, a bit of this and a bit of that. I, I just think, look, eat a normal meal. Logistically, that makes sense. Um, um, consume, um, and uh, it can include alcohol. I don't have such a huge issue with that. But it's the food that needs to be pitch perfect, uh, and this is to the test of time. So. Guys, check out uh, my menu options. Obviously, uh, address my principles. Again, um, it's fruitless me just saying, look, well, here's a whole heap of stack of really good foods. Make sure you eat those, and here's some, some junk. Don't eat this. Um, I think it needs to be committed and rote learn over a period of time. I certainly know my food choices uh, when I'm under pressure, that means I'm having a few drinks, is, is, is still the same um, as it is when I'm not under pressure. Um, if I'm at the football, uh, restaurant, social gig, um, I know my food choices are that my brain just naturally gravitates to food options that are going to leave me satisfied without particular insulin spike for a long period of time. It just happens that way. Um, and hence my program where I try to try to build it out, build it out, build it out, until this education becomes so innate in that individual that you just simply select accordingly. The net result is ultimate health and wellness. There's not nothing more to it than that. Does that I mean weight and, and, and shape? Yeah, sure it does. I don't tend to want to go down that path. Does it mean performance athletically? Sure it does. Just means you're not going to get cooked, you're not going to get cranky, you're not going to get cravings, uh, and ultimately you're going to make much clearer decisions, both uh, socially, mentally, economically, you know, right throughout your day. Check out the website, guys. Shoot me questions if you wish.